Hello! That flash banged a few people because I just peeked the hell out of my microphone. It's XCWC. Week one is over. Here we go. Time is indeed up. Let's take a look at the top 20 demos of the aim. Uh, but I want to do a little thing while I'm going to go through some of the statistics. I want to run this demo past you. So. This demo is the demo of the last placed player. Uh, yeah, the last placed player this year. Okay. So I want to show you this one. Purely because... This is... Remember you were all this good at a game at some point. You might not remember it because everyone's an old fart here. But you were at some point this good at a game. Um, but also because... Fair props to this guy. Like I used this guy's demo as a testing demo. Fair props to him for finishing this after this start. But anyway. Um, I can't even remember what the guy's name is. Who's Who is this? This is Zico. This is Zico got to be your first game anyway so we had 246 players this week that is the second most ever for a round just narrowly being beaten by last year's round one or round two or one of them okay i might not remember it properly 116 of those players got sub one minute which at the start of the week we were saying was a decent time to get and then it became quite clear that actually it's a difficult time to get sub one minute you know you really would struggle to get sub one minute as a brand new player within the week and I've had a few people I worked through getting sub one minute that I already knew were decently competent at the game and it required doing some of the decently difficult bits of route uh, just sub optimally rather than most times like that where you're not even doing the full route we have got 23 demos to go through, starting with the Continental Champions outside of the top 20, then going through the top 20 all the way up to the top. With the Continental Champions that are in the top 20, we are running six continents, technically seven, but no one lives on Antarctica and plays Defrag. So, yeah, if anyone wants uh, to like get a top, get a review video or whatever, just get to get to Continental Antarctica and play Defrag. So yeah, I can't remember what the hell I do at the start of these videos, but I do something, I'm sure. I have some times to type in. This guy does get to the end, by the way. He gets stuck in like every place you can possibly think of getting stuck. Absolute legend. So anyway, we are going to be starting off with Static from African Continent Champion. With a 63.26. Hello, Morrow. So. Why is my timer count up? This one was that was a thing. Um, yeah, here we go. Static pretty competent player of this game consistently up there on these uh, lists came in 132nd with this time just outside the um, yeah let me say the top 100 all very very good times so that's it's really good in my opinion for the game and we'll call this our baseline because static very solid player with a solid time this will be a good run with good strategies and good execution you know this is good all the way through but sometimes we see some but generally and with this kind of thing like static is capable of very very good times but with this one it's just solidly good so yeah this is our baseline time anyway but yeah having um so many players being in that top um 
that top sort of 100 being so good, being under a minute, that is really good in my opinion for how the game kind of is running. Next up we've got a 53.56, 53.48 because I can't read from Des, everybody's favourite. The absolute legend, he makes this show run smoothly. I do want to point out, I did watch Des' uh, run earlier. I'm going to point out, uh, chat's off because we're all degenerates. Uh, but he does say BB43 before this run. Uh, sorry, 53. Uh, yeah, here we go. There's your real start speed there, Des. Oh, actually, no, he's on Brazil server, so he knows his real start speed. 6.46. Got good strafes through here. Loses a minimal amount of speed on the cheese wedge. Round this corner, and we'll talk about what we're looking at here. So we're going to be looking at the speed coming off of this uh, double jump. The speed coming around here. And then the speed exiting this section here these are three points that really a speed matters and of course the start speed we'll get into some different routes that we might be seeing throughout I have contacted the top 10 so that's where I'm gonna start like slowing down we're just gonna roll through the top 20 take a look observe the map I forgot to go through the map but you've seen it now this is the runs we're gonna get I was going to go through it. Oh, well. Um, yeah. That was your South American Continental Champion. With a very good route. Yeah. So, honestly, that's the route a lot of people were running. Um, really, so many people running that sort of route. But I have been told to expect different routes in the top 20. And I'm scared. I'm scared of what we're going to see. Because quite a lot of people have seen Source's route. Like, he was just posting routes. Taking full advantage of not being uh, bound by no route giving. So, 52.56 for Woodjizzer. Uh, 38th place there. Des was 46th, by the way. 38th place for Woodjizzer. Your Asian Continental Champion from Turkey. 58.56 again stalwart of this this sort of thing being up there in the asian uh asian conti champs type bit beautiful springboard now that is a nice route that's the other route i think we're gonna see more of that route and then this is gonna be cooking how he gets this. Oh, he's going round. He's going wide. So a lot of people going wide, not cutting across. The cut across was dodgy. There is another way to get through. But we'll see if we see that. Ah, oh, the bridge was brutal. So the bridge at third to fourth checkpoint. Absolutely brutal. Um so we got a 50.55. So a big jump in time here. 18 places. Ferrius. Dropping in the top 20. Absolute legend. Um, yeah. Yeah, the, the bridge in the next checkpoint. We'll, we'll, we'll discuss that on this one, actually. Yeah, good point, Jack. So, this is a point of contention. So, there was the chance of maybe left is faster. Double jump cancel. We'll get onto that later. Knight's told me how that works. Um... Thank you so much to everyone from the top 20 who told me how the pro things work and what the hell's going on, because I suck at this game. Uh, this double jump here, the spacing for it, everyone was slamming runs. I did 300 runs and got maybe 10 across last Tuesday. Absolutely cracked. Uh, but eventually found the spacing. I think a lot of people did, but some people just didn't. Some people just didn't find the spacing. And then... You're throwing bricks at the wall for this last bit. It's been a really rough, 
rough week. Incredible from Farius to go that way round, though. And not wanting to hit the spiky bits on the inside of that bridge. Yeah. So quite a few players, um, when I got in touch from the top 10, saying they didn't feel like they got the route right. It was just impossible to get a run you were really, truly happy with. But here's a player that we haven't seen much of, if anything, before. Ale. I probably should have talked to them, but didn't realise they were in the top 20. Whoops. Yeah, spacing at the end. Not getting that jump. Spacing at the end was really difficult. And the amount of runs you were getting through to the end... Um, just meant that it was the end was really difficult. A lot of runs thrown away at the end by just not having the knowledge of the end. Which is why, like, for me, I went with a really simple end when I stopped um, and got my PB. And that, that was 90% of what was happening. Or you wouldn't get the double jump, you'd just get a bounce on top and you need the double jump to get across. I think, potentially, you could get across with enough speed, but considering what uh, the whole of the top four said to me about that jump being crap. I'm gonna say that no, you can't get across without the uh, without the double jump. Wow, W turning that very good. Coming through here, two two six seventy uh, speed on the bottom jump. Speed checkpoints will be so good next year. Really clean turning round here. And again, a bottom router. Getting this jump up. Cutting it right across. Big turn. Oh, stuck it in the gutter for a little bit of speed loss. But still managed to hang it out. Very, very good from Ale. Um, yeah, new player to the top 20. New player to the game. A returning face. Uh, Long-term multi-gamer. Gibbs. Over from Warsaw as usual. Yeah. Well, no, this isn't this isn't the 50 route. Like these are some insane strafes as well. Just the pure mechanical of this. You could pull off this route and get a 55, honestly. Like you you really, really could. Um, left start from Gibbs. Guy was holding on to that. You see that plus uh, plus one second? So you get more speed coming through here by one to two hundred. But you are 1.2 seconds slower uh, than going the other route that we've seen at the start. But coming through here, same speed as Ale was. So he's going to have to pull something out at the end to go faster here. Because he's not carried that speed all the way through. But if you're more confident with the speed to be able to make the jump at the start. And you're getting more jumps across the bridge. Okay, going the upper route. Going to take the fast finish. Yeah. So taking the fast finish here. 50.39. Very, very close right now between the riders. Riders? I'm watching too much cycling. 50.35, it's Silny. Yeah, refer to you, you can't feel bad. You cannot feel bad about uh, failing this route. This map has been brutal. This map has been absolutely brutal. Everyone, like I've said, this, it's a, I'm going to repeat myself a lot today probably. Another left router. Very, very interesting. Considering you didn't see many people going left when you're actually playing on the server, but damn. But yeah, here we don't have a comparison of times because uh, Silny must have just been going left on this run, on this uh, splits. But yeah, again, not really carrying the speed to this point. Once you get to this point, the speed is not being carried. But still going very fast. Beautiful. Did not lose much speed coming up that ramp. Being able to get the down ramp there. Nice AD, actually gaining a little bit of speed here. Having to go the lower route, but getting good. And that's beautiful spacing on the lower route. Keeping all the speed. Flinging it into the finish line. 
Really nice run from Silni there. Really, really nice run. Yeah, you can't feel bad about not having got your run because no one is happy with their run from the top 10 that's got back to me. If you are in the top 10 and I messaged you, please accept the Discord friend request. Um, it will be a hidden button. Don't worry if you missed it. Took two weeks for Dizzy to notice it last year. It's terribly hidden button. I've missed them for days and days before. And I know where it is. But, yeah. So, Ekas. Sorry, forgot to say the name. Ekas. Finnish God. Coming through here. Some people going wide at that last turn, some people going narrow, depending again on your spacing. Great speed coming through here, holding it just about together, a little bit maybe of an overturn. Good amount of speed kept here, not quite as good as Silney's, but same sort of spacing. And Kate went in with more speed, so coming out with the same amount, sort of. Going this lower route, that's really interesting because so many of us uh, further down running the sort of 30 to 40 position. So many people were going for the upper route and just trying to make it work. But the fact that the top 20 have decided it's not worth it, which is really cool. Really, really cool to see that there are route options. Um, next up, Gray. A great player. A gray yet player. Sorry. We've got some long starts on this, these renders. Did I change something? Because we've got a new uh, splits thing. Yeah, for, first 49. Is it? Yes, first 49. First sub 50, and we are at 15th place right here. So, Grey flinging it around this corner, taking it quite tight but on the wide run out. First player we've seen with a looking up strafing style, which is quite annoying because my um, it's a rarer strafing style to look up and it does mean that you can't see where you're going with this HUD. <laughs> it's based on people looking down, like 90% uh, of people look at their toes and sort of look out the top of their eyebrow. Yeah, Gibbs going that way. Already seen Gibbs run. And a 49.87. Phenomenal run right there. Again, just smooth and consistent and yeah. 49.54. We have snow, but not the 96 snow of last year. This is the real snow because um, because he's faster, basically. That's how it goes. Yeah, grey strafing is smooth. If there's enough people that start doing uh, look up strafing like this, we, we see sort of looking mostly down. Sort of a if you look at the angle, a minus twenty, whereas grey was on a plus twenty uh, angle. If if enough people are looking up, I'll adjust this HUD somehow to make it work. Yeah, there's so. This does kind of come back. There will be magic routes at some point. But there's also going to be a lot of overlap of routes not quite routes being a bit faster for someone but not faster for someone else. And we've already seen that with the route flipping back and forth uh, to going wide here or coming narrow like we're going to see here. So coming narrow but you see how he only just managed to make it. And this was an incredible finish. And yeah, so rather than going right and round. So it does make a big difference. Tiny jump of 02 to Astu. In number 13. Yeah, great finish for snow. Like it's faster because you're going less distance and you eat only as much ramp. So same sort of speed. Really, really good run like Des you did the super pro finish 
but the spacing to get that super pro finish was so random it just wasn't reliable enough for most people to do so doing that route when you realized you hadn't got enough room at least left you the ability to do super pro route rather than uh, jumping across and going right the way around the last ramp does hurt but honestly I don't think we'll see people do the pro route like Des did with no ramp um, I don't think we'll see that oh yeah everyone was trying to copy sources route so sources route here does this there we go super pro route I'm proven wrong that we won't see the super pro route for a little while but there's the super pro route I'm talking about um, Source, of course, showing off his route quite a lot. But that, that at least you had the chance that if you just weren't going fast enough, if you overturned the last corner, you could save it. Pro ledge route? I, honestly, I was not paying proper attention to that route. We might get into double jump cancels on this one. So... This is another new player to the game, Manoa. Thank you very much for the follow a minute ago. Tilted, 1709. New player to Zenotic, and... Yeah, it's a great run, I think, this one. This should be... I mean, the shit that was being talked in chat, this better be, this better be impressive. Oh, he did skip the cheese wedge. Right. Oh, and another look upper. Yeah, so I see like 10 to 10 to 15 percent looking up rather than staring down at 20 percent. Oh, actually, pretty flat now. That's okay. Yeah, I I couldn't because you could hit the le the wedge, lose like 70 speed, and then get back on the strafe and gain it back. Whereas hitting the ledge, I was not strafe. I wasn't losing speed, but I wasn't strafing. Big eat of the jump there, though. Lost a lot of speed coming through there. Double jump cancel, I think, happening there. So double jump cancel is where you um, stop jumping when you hit the second jump, but you're still going up. So you don't double jump it, meaning you don't get the additional height. And it can help you with the spacing. Sometimes you need the double jump, sometimes you don't. Big, big gap to Foy, or Freud, depending on how people want to pronounce it. Still an argument going on about that, I'm sure. Number 11, big 0.43 gap. Ah, barely's good enough. Yeah, Snow, you're the real Snow. That was the fight. When I saw that there was two Snows, and I realised that it was two di actually different Snows rather than just a second account by mistake, I just thought, yeah, whoever wins is the real Snow for this one. So you're Snow, and the other guy's going to have to be eat veggies, Snow. Please don't fire all the way, Freud. Oh no. Are we gonna have gunfire all the way? Nicely done through there. Very clean around here. AD strafing, which is a rare... Like, most people seem to be W strafing through that chicane. Keeping really, really good speed. And up and over around here. Over the top. Fast finish. Super pro fast finish. Round that. Beautiful finish time. Fastest on the server. Now, before we head into the top 10, I want to take a look. Who got back to me? Did you? And some of DMs, whoa. Uh, where are you gone? Where has he gone? 
There he is. Cool. So I asked a few people what they thought of um, of everything that went on. And yeah. So Cool's thoughts on map one. He was the guy that made it. VP made the textures on it. But Cool made the actual main sections of the map. Uh, he regretted not testing it with more speed. Because he could have made a few things better. I think we know what the, those things are. <laughs> by this point. Um, cool was interested in seeing if anyone went left start. Because apparently Goblin did a low 48 using left. And the first tunnel that we see after checkpoint 3. Which is the one after the big jump. Is a key point for speed. Uh, for noticing the speed. So that's why I've been looking at that. So those are the sort of things Cool was thinking of. Not too much detail on this map. Oh, come on, Woe's typing. We're going to have to just talk shit for a minute. Um, yeah, it's, it's been an amazing week for uh, for the game. I'm going to go back to the, like, 116 players sub one minute. That was a really difficult time to get. Um, it's... It doesn't seem it to some people. Some people that are going to be watching this probably got sub one minute like straight away. But for newer players, people that have just got into the game or even have been in the game for a while. So I got a friend who got a 57, I think, Mackie, 90th place. And she was doing pretty much these faster routes, just worse. Just these, just sort of not taking as many corner cuts, not quite. Uh, smashing it as fast as possible so it's really it was a really difficult map and 116 players getting sub one minute basically says to me there are 116 genuinely good players who have put some time into this map and tried you know outside of it there might be some players that spent 15 minutes and were able to get a sub uh, minute and then left but it means that there are a lot of players that genuinely are good at the game. Which, and there's even more because, of course, there's you, you could get more than a minute and still be considered good at the game. But sub one minute is a very good player. So, yeah, it, it's for the health of this kind of game. And the people that I saw coming in, new, new players, it made me feel really good about making the guides, obviously. But also how many people were willing to help. So thank you to everyone who helps people on servers. People who just say press K to kill when you notice that someone is leaving and joining or jumping around in a hole or anything like that. Helping the new players because it's daunting to get into these games. It really is. They're difficult. Finding routes is difficult. Learning how to strafe is difficult. And yeah, the health of these games is, is going to rely on the communities that we are. So thank you, everyone. Love you all. Now let's get into the top 10. Woe is still typing, but I'm just going to ignore him. Um, <laughs> so basically, say this map's super technical, but what's possible and what's not. And finding a route, that's another thing I was going to talk about. Finding a route that's consistent, really, really difficult. So a 48.91 from Woe. Oh, most people come from Quake 3 and don't know you can auto jump. People come from Counter Strike usually learn it first because they try to scroll jump and it doesn't work. Woe going left at the start. Very interesting, very interesting. Uh, Morrow is in the server. I think they'll go up after. I'm pretty sure that they'll go up after the whole tournament. Once we decommission the servers, because taking the leaderboards across is difficult. Beautiful AD through there. Absolutely flying. Really high speed. It's going to be like 270. Yeah, 2740. Really high speed. I think that's the fastest we've seen. A uh, World's got incredible AD. Coming from a Counter-Strike B-Hop and Surf type background, 
absolutely stunning AD control compared to other players who were using a lot more uh, W turning to keep the speed. Because especially with haste, you can kind of almost go faster, but you can't turn as tight. So... Yeah, there's going to be a lot of people who can't quite get the speed to, of the spacing to do that last um, finish and do the bonk jump up. Like I said, you do that route that Woe's just done and you go a tiny bit faster, then you'll make it all the way across. Or you don't make it and it still could be a PB. I think that's, that's a pretty safe route to go through. Um, so next up we have Shinx on a 48.85 who was around last year, had some great world records um, on a lot of maps. W strafing this corner, we already know. And that's what happens quite a lot on these. Absolute bonk. Really clean stray for Shinx is. Very DJ cancel there to get low airtime without losing speed. Um, Knight, I had a chat with Knight about DJ cancelling, and he said it was really difficult to get. Uh, he's mostly talking about the ending stair set. Nicely turning through here. But yeah, the double jump cancel, something I hadn't even heard of till this week. Um, but yeah, seems to be something that a lot of people are going to be using towards the end because the faster you go, the less far you want to go. So at the minute, we're probably seeing mostly people double jumping. But at this speed, you might want to double jump cancel to not go too far. Another hit finish. Yeah, you go a little bit further and you don't get the hit finish. But it's at least a little bit safe of a plan. Next up, we have... Mr. Frosty with a seven uh, forty eight point seven nine. The sauna cup, the sauna enjoyer, Mr. Frosty. Not playing in the sauna, I don't believe. What a quick switch at the, up there. Oh, that was beautifully done. He only lost about 40 speed there. Really nice turn through the middle. Cutting that corner nicely. Getting great spacing across the top. Coming down 2700 on the landing, just under. So nicely done. Good little stairs hop. Just keeping it tight here. Not going for some people have gone wide and gained a lot of speed but frosty here just keeping it very very tight really good racing lines gonna take this route a very early off of the side bounce and over the top for the slightly faster finish than we've seen before a uh, very nice route that really uh cons like gives you a consistency to be able to make the turn rather than going straight across like des did uh and as do so, super nice there from uh, Mr. Frosty. Next up, I don't know what to call him because he's never played under this name. But apparently, it's Vert. And yeah, thank you to Source for the route, for the route. Pretty much everyone was using Source's route. Absolute legend for sending that route. Um, I'll get to it in a bit. What, what did Vert... So, oh, Vert. Vert was the one that said it. So Vert, I had a long chat with him, so I'm not going to read the whole thing. But uh, Vert said he'd be interested to see what would have happened if Source hadn't shared the route. I don't think too much would have changed, but there were definitely a lot of players coming in, um, taking taking Source's route, and a lot of players further down pinching Source's routes. Or little bits, you know, whatever you could do. For me, I was mostly doing Source's route, but it just validated what I was doing. That what I was doing was the correct way to go about it. Still getting these hits, which does validate me. That we're into the top five and still getting these hits. Or we're in sixth, actually. So phenomenal from Vert. Uh, would we, 
he never managed to get the clean end like we saw there uh, so that like that's the sort of level of difficulty that we're looking at from this map that the guy coming in seventh place didn't get a clean end but yeah next up we have delta who definitely benefited from sources route because because uh, he joined so late <laughs> joined the map very late so definitely benefited from it also told me he wasn't going to play this year but you know over late cheers Des. Super fast over here. Look at this speed. Just under 2700. He's clicking jump. He's a he's a pure pure Quake 3er. Tapping that jump button. Making sure that he doesn't... Oh, he's, he has held it there. So he does sort of know he can hold it, I think. Double jump cancelling. Really nice example of double jump cancelling will be on that demo. Um, loses a bit of speed on the finish just in there. But smashes it across the line. Old Gil very nice very nice from delta yeah so that double jump cancel to slow to not go so far out of those last three stairs next up a 48 59 from knight who i'm gonna pull up the chat before we press play on here we go watch for double jump cancel being dramatically increased airtime uh curious about the end routes that people took which yeah that's where it's mostly been changing we did see a couple of left routes at the sort of 15th ish positions this is his first run since the servers reset as well look at that no splits just running it through carpal tunnel inducing was what um was what knight said carpal tunnel inducing and I asked him about toggle hop, and he said he, it makes the DJ cancel really difficult at the end uh, without toggle hop. He's doing round two without toggle hop, but I'm not sure what he was doing this round. Yeah, gets the faster end, takes it pretty tight there. But there's Knight, one of the most popular players in Defrag. He plays everything, and he plays it well. Yes, Al. I'm a toggle hopper now because I'm getting carpal tunnel. We'll see what happens when uh, I hop over to Quake 3 again after this and play some. That's going to be brutal. Next up, we have Mac Mac. Um, now, I have a note from, from Goblin here. Uh, shout out to Mac Mac's mum. So, shout out to Mac Mac's mum. It was a challenging map. That's all he said. He said, yeah, it was good. Challenging. Brilliant. Short, sweet. Uh, yeah. Rogue. Shout out to Mac Mac's mum. 4808. So a big jump up from Knight's previous, uh, previous run. Also someone giving a lot of root advice. Very much someone giving a lot of root advice to just just generally around. It's been great seeing a lot of people happy to answer questions about roots. Mostly because they know that it doesn't matter if they give certain people the root advice. Because they probably can't pull it off anyway. Which is kind of insane to be able to say. Like... He just can't. Jeez, 2500 to that first double jump. Did he even get a double jump there? I might have to. I'm going to rewatch this one. I want to see, did he even get a double jump? And do I have slow mo buttons on my keyboard anymore? Did not get a double jump. Insane. So, yeah, what I said earlier about could you get a double jump did come true. 
He's just going to send it straight across. Super tight AD. Beautiful in there. Too goddamn smooth indeed. Do I have a slow-mo button? Let's find out. I think I do, because down arrow is zero. So that pauses it. That's slow-mo. That plays. That speeds up. Okay. So, let's see. Mac Max run. He's coming through here. Beautiful strafe. Lands right at the bottom of that ramp. Then how much does he lose here? So he comes into it. 86. Gets one. He only lost 10. And by the end of the ramp, he's already caught back up that speed. Only lost about 10 ups off of that. And just able to strafe all the way through it. Now here. He's coming up to this. He gets the bounce here. He's strafing. And he lands on top of here. No double jump. For most of us, this is a death sentence. We don't make it across here. Mac is going past the speed of light. He bounces on it. Gets it. That looked like a little bit of a step up through there. So let's send it again. And then I want to see, uh, I'm not sure about the DJ cancel at the end here. Just a little wiggle. Beautiful. So let's see, I'm not sure if he does the DJ cancel or if he does a double jump off the bottom and clears the top. But we'll see what his inputs are. If he just holds jump, then he's not DJ cancelling. But there we go. So he DJ cancels to not get the double jump off the top there. Then holds it again to keep going. So that's your DJ cancel there. Then continuing into the finish. And it feels like it's sped up because of the slow-mo. Doesn't hit that wall. I think he jumped over that, um, that hole at the end. That little gutter. Next up in fourth position, I think. No, that was fourth position with Mac Mac. Your continental champion for the Oceana region. Next up is Source. 0.02 seconds. He deserves the podium because he gave everybody uh, the route. But then we'll get into the fact that everybody had the route, but then there's two players over half a second faster than him. So, you know, we'll get into that after we watch Source. We've got to give got to give it to the GOAT. You know, he really... He pushed this. He pushed this round. He really, really pushed this round. And he's he is... A phenomenal player on the regular servers. So, yeah. Legend source. Again, great landing there. DJ, what on earth was that? DJ cancel to be able to get across and hit the pot in the middle. Like that trough in the middle. Beautiful AD. Really close to that wall. Nicely done. Does need the double jump there though, I think. I don't think he was quite going fast enough to do um, to do what Mac did. But he keeps a lot of speed through here. Really nicely straight into the double jump and he's still strafing hard. Double jump cancel there. Running across here. So many runs died here. We saw the screams in chat all week. And he crosses the line but i got to see that start again. That's the wrong one. There we go. He used the bath in the middle room. I'm not sure why. I just know he did. <laughs> yeah. Not going to say why he does a double jump cancel. Because apparently double jump cancels are really hard. But landing probably on like the last pixel pretty much there. To gain a couple of hundred speed. But he jumps here, then let's go so that he doesn't get the double jump, but doesn't lose speed because he's actually in the air. Then lands here. And then is it for better spacing potentially? Because he then gets a... That looks like that's a, just a normal jump. That's not a double jump off of that one. But he continues through here. Now let's see where he ends up. 
because that's a really difficult trick just for a little bit better spacing. Yeah, so he's going forwards more than you could if you just double jump straight through that whole gap. Loses quite a bit of speed there, actually. Hitting that. Yeah, I tried doing a DJ cancelled literally just to understand what it was. Like, after uh, Knight told me it was really important and told me sort of what you would do, I went on to this map offline, just tried to do it in various places, and I could. It's insane. Let's watch this in slow motion. So he comes through here, and he's flying. And he's going to land up this. And bounces here. And then he's going as fast as he's possibly been going. How close is he going to get? So you don't want to go into this... I don't have a cursor on screen. You don't want to go where the checkpoint sign is in between those. Because you'll land on the wall and it's not flat. Here... He just over jumps. That's what I said about Mac Max. Mac looked like he went into the trough, but he didn't. Just ekes out that tiniest bit of strafe across the line. That's got to be worth less than a split of a second. <laughs> Two decimal places in this game, Source. Uh, you don't need a strafe that hard. Yeah, the map was already for Quake 3. Um... So it's not a full port, but it was made for both, which is very cool. Next up, 0.61 seconds faster with a 45.45. It is Goblin. Cheers to Mac Max Mum. And fuck the end of this map. <laughs> That's all I got. Well played to Dizzy, shout out back Max Mum, F the end of that map. So here we go, insane start, a 677 I saw there. Double jump cancelled there to get the better spacing on the up, we saw that from a couple of people already. Does that, does do the source strat. Flies across there, not much speed lost there, a bit, little bit better than sources. I don't think as good as... I can't remember who we saw lose 10 speed. Beautiful there. Fast enough. Did, did get the double jump, but probably didn't need it. Lovely down ramp speed. Insane through there. Super tight on the inside there. Almost whacking your head on the top. Coming through as fast and as tight as we've seen anyone come through there. Really nice speed. And then he takes the inside there, just like I said, you don't. He takes the inside there. I need to bind the uh, arrow. It's point one. Bind right arrow. Point five. There we go. Let's hit Goblin up again then. Goblin also said, I said a year returning for HDWC this year. Uh, he said he'll try, but uh, he's on a different setup. So he's got his excuses, you know. He's got his excuses. A 677 start speed is absolutely mental. Beautiful double jump cancel. How much speed does he lose? So he taps it. He loses. Loses about 20. And then runs off. And coming around here, you can just see how beautifully strafed it is. Gaining speed as he comes through. Running at half speed. And then here, that is going to be a double jump, I think. I'm pretty sure that's a double jump. Then he's landing here. And what's he going to get as speed when he hits the ground? So he gains 100 speed and he's up to... 2730 off of that beautiful turn round here that ooh, that is insane cutting across that little bit there 
That's absolutely insane. And he's on the way up. He does lose a fair bit of speed there, but he's on the way up. The CPs, he is a bit slower, but this map was so difficult for getting your CPs consistent. There were so many places where you could be going too fast. And you'd come around this corner and the spacing just wouldn't work out. Because you'd be going too fast through here. So he hits that double jump. Oh, he gets a double jump, I think, there. Potentially. Instead of a double jump cancel. Now watch on the next one. When we go to this point one slow motion. How fast Dizzy is on his uh, changes. He, this does not look like he's making this. He gets a step up here. Yeah, he gets a step up there. Did not look like he was going to make that up. A little bit of speed loss there, but not too bad. Nice switch. Landing down here. Fast through. I want to see how he manages to make this last corner. Because he's cutting it so tight through here. Grazes the wall. Again, gets a little bit of strafe out. And sends it across the line. Absolutely beautiful. But next up, we bow to the king. People thought he wasn't going to do it. Halfway through the week, it looked shaky. But we once again reached the dizzying heights of 47.4. Dizzy's run. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to pull up. Where's his chat? There it is. So Dizzy did point out how much the map feels like it was made for Quake 3 and some of the wooden dump, double jumps being really tall and really rough. Uh, the up ramp halfway through, I'll point out which one when we get to it, uh, just really frustrating for him. He was really uh, tricky. Uh, Dizzy is Dongfish. I don't know about Tree Frog. He's been dongfish in Quake 3. But yeah, once you got he said once you get past those, other than those two things, so once you get past them, the map's got pretty good flow. Uh, he was shocked Goblin didn't come back. Classic, I don't think my run is deserving of first place. So considering how good Goblin's run just was and how many people's minds it's just blown, to go another 0.5 on Goblin's run. Madness. Madness. And nobody, if Dizzy didn't get a clean run, nobody got a clean run. So let's take a look at what Dizzy put in for this first map. A 680 start speed. And these are real start speeds because I've got the demos uh, server side. Wonderful turn here. Doesn't do the pro strat. Gets really nice spacing anyway. Super tight turns. Dizzy's AD is absolutely incredible. But his fast switching is something even more impressive. So this ramp just after here. This ramp here. So much, so little speed lost. Just keeps everything he's gained. That's one of the things that he does so fast. What on? He's gone that route for the end? No way. We haven't seen that since, like, the top 10. I mean, like, just inside the top 10. We, well, no, we haven't seen that route going around. We've seen people hit the ramp and not quite make it to the flat. But we haven't seen people go... Go that far. So, I mean, that... I don't think my run's deserving of first place. But I'm, I'm going to... This bit... Is why he had problems. I mean, he's stuck. Yeah, you just never know what other people have done. But watch Dizzy's strafe percent, right? He's just on the edge. Look at that. Beautiful. And he's on the W and he's back. And he's back in a really powerful place. Every single time. His strafe switches. How do we see a strafe switch again? So he's going to be continuing around here. You see how slow he is. He's going to lose 
30 speeds. So that's quite a lot of speed actually to lose here. We saw Goblin with 20 and Mac with only 10, which is absolutely mad. But this is, you know, he's got that insane turning with the AD. You gain 0.5 while doing W. This is why most people were doing W turns during the uh, cave section, the next cave section, the chicane. Because you gain 0 0.05 G from W turning with haste at this speed. But you can only gain 0 0.06 with AD if you're perfect. So you're going to average probably less than and you can lose speed. But he's going to come through here and then just look how perfect he is on the strafe. Getting as much speed gain as possible. Then he comes to here, gets the double jump. Not going anywhere near as fast as Max uh, 2550 to get across. And Mac didn't even go left routes. There was no left routes at the very pointy end. Coming down to here. Round this corner. On the gas. And then watch this strafe switch. Oh, he's not going to strafe switch here, is he? No, he's just going to go straight. So he's to W to A. It's super clean on those as well. I really want to point out a strafe switch. Just because we saw Mac do them. So how close does he get to this? He has to crouch to get under that. Another round one dizzy absolute mad crouch. DJ cancel. Now here. He strafes barely losing any speed. Gains the speed off the ramp. Keeps it pushed at full pin. Full pin. He's going to gain speed off of this down ramp. He's just pointing in the right direction. I think he gained a little... Yeah, he, the G's went up. So he'll have gained a little bit of speed off of that down ramp there. Then he's going to get this. And he loses 200 speed there. A beautiful turn. Look how close he got to that finish. And then he just pumps it across the line. I mean, that's just absolutely magical how he did that. That's got to just be on the, the strafing for that one. Absolutely mad route. Incredible run from Dizzy. Absolutely incredible. Now, this map had quite a lot of secrets on it. Uh, I should not press tab there. There we go. This map had quite a lot of secrets on it. Let's take a look around the secrets that are on this map. So the first one is just in here. Kool-Aid man. Look at him. Beautiful trading card of cool. Nah, it was a brilliant map call. Honestly, it as much as the rage hits everybody, it was a phenomenal map. So there's your first one. Technic everyone went looking for a secret in here, I think. Down in this section. Yeah, this is an absolutely excellent map. And the fact that it plays well in Quake 3 as well. That's just absolute testament to how well you and VP can build a map. And how well VP made this map look. So yeah, you got the smiley face up there. And then you got to hope that I can do this jump. Uh, this is going to be difficult. Ah, there's a call just there. So you got to get the jump on that one. We'll go. We'll come back to that one. When I can go uh, no clip, yeah. Uh, no clip. Is there a way to go faster with no clip? Here we go. Oh, ah, just around the back. There we go. Cool floating up and down. Hopefully the no clip's off. There's your second. There was a lot of secrets on this. It was very, very fun to look for all the secrets. And to think that I got them all. And then find out that there was still one more. 
The next one. Uh, well, this is technically not a secret, but I blame this little pill. I blame that for all the lag we had at the start of the map. Ah, right. But that will increase my speed elsewhere. Okay. VP. Kool-Aid. VP. Kool-Aid. VP. Kool-Aid. Our lovely mappers for the week. Thank you very much to them for building non-solid columns. Next up. Yeah, that, that health was the reason for the lag at the start. Uh, a trigger encompassing the entire map. <laughs> Coming through here. Now you can see how bad I am at this game. Have I missed a secret? No. Yeah, I'll change the normal walk speed and I can guarantee you I forget to set it back. Get confused and forget what it is as well, what the default is. Because uh, it's not just set it to the default. Because... Here we have the Vortex, a weapon, an absolute weapon. You shoot the V, you get the second Vortex, you shoot the P, and the bars go down, and you pop out at the end here. Beautiful. Oh, that's true. I've got uh, a config to change the max speed, haven't I? Let's do Desi's route, because he's begging me to do this route for the entire week. From, like, Wednesday. Then you come round to the end here. And... You can get out of bounds here. But you can also go... Oh, no. It's quite difficult. You know, it's, it's quite difficult, and I still haven't quite got used to this toggle hop thing. Okay, let's see if I can make it through here. So, jump in the middle and crouch, and we're in. Okay, beautiful. I'm just going to no-clip this, because I find it difficult. Okay, I suck. I can get through here, do, do, and then I massively under-jump this one. Here is the Crylink. Slash BFG. The big ball boomstick. Um, yeah. Super fast weapon. There's no straight walls on this map that you would actually be able to get speed on. I tried testing my own run, like by picking this up and then starting at, say, two minutes or whatever, to see how fast I could do it with the Crylink, and I was actually slower than my strafing route. Like... Yeah. Yeah, it's super tight to get in. Um, and then, yeah, it's pretty difficult to do. Des thinks it's easy, so it's probably just a skill issue on my part. Like, I won't worry about it too much. I'm really bad at that sort of uh, spacing type thing. I, I really am. And the fact that it kills you means I kind of gave up on it quite quick. I was like, I've, okay, I've done it. I've done it once or twice. And I know I can no-clip it when we come to do this, so it's fine. But yes, that is the map. A phenomenal map. Is that all the secrets? Have I done all the secrets? Just double check. Someone tell me if I've not done all the secrets. I believe I've done all the secrets. Oh, and the map shot uh, photo was taken there. If you didn't notice because you were too busy going Aah! at the end of your run like I was. Uh, yeah, the map shot was taken somewhere in the sky. Just up there. Very, very fun first map. Yeah, map two is now on the servers though. So let's head over to map two and take a quick...
quick cheeky peek at what's going on on map 2. So we come up here and then we got a slick. Oops, I haven't got used to toggle hop. And then down here. And then a few options here. And potentially a cheeky. Whoop. Map 2 unpossible. I know. It really is. I just want to get to the grenade bit and see if I can pull off a live recorded um, grenade. Because I had give all on the other day when I did it. If I can't, then uh, I blame my useful my uselessness on my config. So boom, boom. Yeah, damn it. Boom, boom. No. Nope. Yeah, that's going to be insane for people coming through from the from here straight through to throw one at the wall here and then go up. That is going to be absolutely mad have I watched the runs for less than a minute uh, we started at less than a minute well no we had one uh, more than a minute but yeah oh yeah and then um, once you've got up there which you generally do with the grenade launcher and up that or well you get enough speed then you come down and through here Give this section a little surf. I do tend to fall off it actually. And then into the finish. Beautiful. Look at that brilliant record. <laughs> Just an entire run slower than my PB. So, yeah. Um, let's put that on. And bring this across. So, here, there's your last year's. Top 20, overall top 20 and where they came. So we're missing ADR, JH is away, Dex, Kanzo, TQ. Missing a few players from the top. From top 100? Uh, no, so we only do the top 20 for the records. Is there any specific demo you want me to watch? Is there any... It very interesting bit of a run in a top 20 Tempest. The runs will be published for you to muse over in full 60 FPS glory on Morris Sophos channel. Uh, the top 20 runs. So do check those out uh, if I can remember if they might be linked in the description. Otherwise Morris Sophos is on on YouTube. Let's bring up there's that. Ignore round two. That technically hasn't happened canonically as we do this stream. But first place, Dizzy. Tiny amount. 0.5 on Goblin. So he only gets one point. But does get quite a big lead there, to be fair. He is leading by quite a big point after the first. You got Mac. That. It's great seeing how many countries as well. We'll get some country stats at the end. Uh, end of the whole tournament. But here... All of your players coming down. So if you were faster than a 55.71, congratulations, you've earned yourself a... Uh, a um, XDWC coin. Massive congratulations to everybody below this mark. Commiserations to sadness and hate with that time. Like, whew. yeah, there's a few people that were really trying in this kind of area. Great time from Static, our African champion. Then we just, it just keeps going. It just keeps going. Which is amazing. And Zico, absolute legend. 10 minute run. Got stuck in every hole. Still made it to the finish. Magical. Brilliant. The, the spread of people is phenomenal. I, where, where's Immy? So a few people have seen Immy on the server yesterday. 1.30. There. W only time. 
because none of my friends watch my videos. Uh, come on. <laughs> w only time with a 132. But yeah. Phenomenal. Everyone who played. Thank you very much. Let's have a look at some round history numbers. Oop. Nice one, Ferris. Good job, dude. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> Is that a glitch? Is there no teleport? Oh, there are teleporters. There are teleporters, but not on the actual map. Usually that's what that means. Oh, distribution. Here we go. Look at that. 14 players with a 57xx. And like here with a 58. You're basically outside the top 100 there. So incredible grouping of really a lot of top times. A lot. Half the times being in the top 100, I think, just about. Oh, you just mashed Crylink. Insane. And then, yeah, just a spread of times dotted around. Obviously loads over here, but super good seeing a lot of the times... Under the 110 mark, you know, really that like that looks healthy to me. The history, we will just select the top. Do, do, do. Delta, you can go away because you didn't play. We'll get Vert in there. Uh, well, Delta didn't play till right at the end, so it doesn't look good on the map. Zoom the top. Oh, shit, how do I undo that? There we go. No, oh uh, no, I'm not very good at this. Let's go from the bottom. Right uh, here. There we go. So, Dizzy ending up on top. He was behind for a long time since Matt got this time on the 22nd. We didn't know if he'd come back because, you know, he only PB'd on this one. A tiny little PB of 0.8 there. And then he jumps it up just behind where Gob was. And then he pumps it above Goblin. But he still had to push some more. Still had to push some more because Goblin's time there would have beaten him. Uh, in fact, that one would have beaten him, actually. So, oh yeah, he just got it just after. Goblin playing on the Australia at the minute. He's out in Australia. Super nice times. And that super tight time of 0.02 between Rogue and Source. Madness between those two. Knight. But great times. Everyone with some insane times. Really, really, really cool to see how many people there have been. On a fantastic map. So yeah. Time is up. It is time to play round two. Yeah, Mac was making moves in the last minute. He was absolutely flying. He got the hang of it. He knew where he was going, but he got it consistent right at the end. Which, some people didn't, but went faster. And some people did, and went slower. <laughs> some people had consistency the whole way through. It was such a... Such an interesting... Self... Look. Thank you very, very much for watching. It has been a phenomenal stream. Go play some round two. Watch the videos. Links in the description is the guide. If you've made it all the way through and you've never played this game before, there's a guide linked in the description. Please go and watch it. You'll be able to play the game. Join the servers. Play XDWC. Round two is live. Use the grenade launcher if you can. And I will see you next week. Same time, same place. Except there'll be a two and a different map on that picture. I should have probably got the map pick. Um, never mind. Thank you very much for watching. GG.